Hey friends, this is Taylor, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about my EDC toolkit. I keep this in my backpack every day. It's just in a headphone case for now, um, but let's talk about some of the stuff I have. So the first thing, we're going in no particular order here. Um, this is called the Dasco Pro. This is just a small little pry bar. This thing's awesome. It's only about, let's see here, uh, maybe just a smidge over six inches. Um, it's awesome. You get plenty of leverage over it. I like that it's kind of the more traditional uh, crowbar, wrecking bar style, <clears throat> and not just a flat bar. I got this in a pack of uh, three or four other kind of more compact crowbars. This was the smallest one they had in that series, and I decided to keep this for my little toolkit here. But this thing's great. Weighs nothing. Tons of leverage you get out of it. <clears throat> and of course... The tried and true Nipex pliers wrench. These things are great. If you've looked into EDC toolkits, you know what these are. Um, these are the 125s, as you can see there. And these things are great, like I said. <clears throat> Plenty of adjustability here. And the big thing with these is you keep the, the jaws there parallel as you're opening and closing. So you won't be rounding over nuts or bolts. Uh, tons of really easy adjustment. Love these guys. And to complement it, of course, the Cobra wrench. So much like the pliers wrench, again, full push button adjustability. And again, these are the 125s. There's that model number there. And again, these things are awesome. This is more like a plumber's wrench or a pipe wrench. And you can get a pretty big, um, you know, piece of material in there. So um, to have both of these in the kit, they complement each other very well. And I'm super happy with them. <clears throat> This is a little bit newer of a device to me. This is a WorkPro um, utility knife. I was gonna get the Gerber EAB. I didn't like it as much, I don't know why. Um, but this thing's been awesome. You just kind of push this bar up here and then you can remove the razor blade, flip it over, replace it. It weighs nothing, it's pretty compact. It does have a pocket clip. Um, I love this thing and it was only like maybe eight or $10. so. Pretty affordable, super solid, awesome locking mechanism too. Got solid lock up there. Um, definitely like this. This is the newest addition to the toolkit. I didn't really have a cutting implement specifically for it until very recently. And then now we got <clears throat> this guy. So this is the Harbor Freight uh, Icon 35 piece flex head ratchet set. So there we go this is the good stuff so let's first talk about the ratchet itself the cool thing about this is you have a flex head goes to 90 degrees well 180 i suppose 90 in each direction right um and you can kind of do canted angles in between there as well so if you need to get kind of a unique locking or a, a unique uh, angle on something to tighten it you can kind of have some degrees of adjustment there um on the bottom <clears throat> there is a bit holder that does have a magnet in there to keep bits captive. Um, the bits themselves are right there. So I have 35 pieces, security torx, regular torx, some flatheads, you got your Phillips, you got some both standard and metric uh, Allen wrenches. And then there is also, this guy is a, a quarter inch um, square drive for a, a set of sockets. And then you also got an extension here so what's cool about the extension is if I do this correctly, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's a flat part and then there's some kind of lines that are sort of laser, uh, lasered in there. Uh, if you line those up with the uh, white dot right there on the ratchet, it actually passes through and you get a T handle. So you can get some good leverage on something if you put the bit in there. And then of course, if you do not line up the two markers you just get an extension on that as well and again this is a, a magnetically uh, captive for those bits they're not going to fall off or anything like that and what you can also do is put this on the bottom so maybe you need something that's a little bit longer you need a little bit more reach you can even take the head there and turn it 90 degrees to get a little bit more torque uh, if you needed something that had you know a little bit more length to it this thing's awesome i've had it for about two two and a half months uh, i've been using it here and there whenever i have the opportunity and it's actually taken place of the um the tool check plus it's smaller i don't have the sockets included with this so i'm going to figure out a solution to store some quarter inch drive sockets with this guy um 
but it's not a compromise so far. Fortunately, I'm not using sockets every day, so that's kind of nice. And the case itself is just bomb proof. The black portion's kind of rubberized. It feels really solid um, and literally like it's just super, super tough. So really like this thing. Um, it's been an awesome upgrade. And then I'm just keeping everything in a little Dre Beats uh, pouch right now. Um, I have a ton of VanQuest and Maxpedition, Peak Design, all kinds of little pouches. And uh, I don't like the way all the tools fit inside of any of them. <clears throat> This just fits everything in there. So for now, that's kind of the solution. But I am looking for a more long-term and permanent uh, pouch for all this stuff. Um, like I said, this just kind of works in the sense of storage. But I would like to get something that's maybe a little bit more durable, as well as um, something that fits everything properly. Because right now, while it works, I want something that's a little bit nicer, a little bit more neat. But that is... What I keep every day in my backpack. Thanks for watching, guys.